So it's like, it's a completely different thing than the original game. You have like legends that this guy tells you. He's like, he's literally narrating everything you do. It's actually super badass. He has like a Mortal Kombat announcer is a tale voice. Of dark rituals and powerful spirits. The As Mongols you can hear. Wished to make themselves great. Hello, hello. And used these rituals to steal key from three elemental kami. Amaterasu, goddess of the sun. Tsukuyomi, god of the moon. And Susanoo, god of storms. The rituals were draining the kami of their key, so the ghosts set out to save them. They're also sorry, not using the pop filter, it's like face the other way and it's always a pain to to move it so I just decided for like a one PS4 stream I'm not gonna be moving it. I, I hope it's doesn't sound that bad. But yeah. You definitely have to it's it's definitely this multiplayer is definitely way harder than the single player mode I remember. Because there is no healing with your resolve like it was in single player, you do have to find like an actual um, place where you can Had heal. They conquered the village, the Mongols had opened their door to the spirit realm to steal key from the Kami. The ghosts resolved to destroy the ritual. Oh shit. Blind. Yeah, the enemies are still pretty blind, but if they were not blind, it would be so brutal, man. what you get and yeah you have like a okay so this is a new mechanic uh, the only mechanic so far I well there was two mechanics so far they introduced in the first two missions like an area where all the enemies can heal and like a tether connecting two enemies and you have to kill both of them or the other one will respawn also as you can see there in the distance that gong is the only thing that heals you in this game mode. Unless you use like a superpower of your class, but with this class I'm pretty sure I can't heal with the assassin. The the samurai can heal by using his ult and killing enemies. Is he gonna die in one? Yes, nice. So, those stories are like split usually, at least the first missions I played, they are split into three parts and the only checkpoint you get is after you finish the first part or the second part. So if I like die, at least there is no hostages here, I can only die and fail the mission I think. In the previous mission I played it had, it had like the same mechanic from the single player. When you have a hostage situation with some monks, but that's another gong to heal. And you know, if they kill one of the monks, boom, you just... You just have to replay the mission. Also, I don't know if they fixed it, but I had some customization gear missing from the single player in this game mode that I unlocked because I got, got I got the platinum trophy on single player so I literally unlocked every single customization item and they moved them to the multiplayer too okay we have to think about this like what I really like about this multiplayer mode when I'm playing alone at least maybe with other players this would this uh, I mean in this game mode I could play only with one more player in the horde mode you can play up to four. But what I really like here, even that the enemies still are kind of blind, it's like if I mess up once and die, there's no checkpoint, so I just literally restart. So it's very punishing when you are alone. And you have limited resources like the heals, arrows. You have to collect them from around the, the map. Okay, so they are introducing some kind of 
buff here? What is this? Or do I have to destroy those? Acquire moon attunement. Oh yeah, this seems like some sort of buff for my sword. We might just... Oh, okay. Okay, I have no idea why he didn't finish him, but... That just goes of Tsushima. Okay, I have to... Stop spamming, now I remember. Or you get punished in this game. Oh, get fucked. <laughs> Just walked into the traps again. Oh shit, I couldn't even see, I'm almost dead. Okay, let's play it safe. I'm going for the gong. Uh, <laughs> I lost all my skill in like, you know, the dodges and parries in this game. It's been so long since I played it. I have to get better at doing the perfect parry. So we get some... Huh. Oh wait, do I have to break those by using a buff? Is that what's happening? Do I have to use the moon buff or like a moon place and the uh, green buff on the green statue? Not sure what the mechanic is here. And we have an orange buff too. Wait, so this fit... This thing is still there, okay, let's try. Acquire the storm at one man. Wait. Oh no, it just re okay, it recharged. Huh. Oh yeah, sabotage, okay. So that's how it works, you have to have the right thing for the right place. So far it seems like the maybe the entire story is introducing mechanics or they just like first couple missions introduce mechanics then it gets serious. I mean it's not easy at all right now but especially this first part of the this mission seems very easy compared to the other things I played. Like I said before when there is like a hostage mission I think this is the- okay, no, never mind. There's multiple guys. When there is something that can fail your mission outside of you just dying... Then the mission, in, in my opinion at least, is way, way harder. The ritual ended. The door between realms closed. But new rituals had already begun elsewhere. The ghost set out in search of these other threats. Okay, I'm just gonna use everything I can on this map before we... Oh, it heals you too? I mean, I could just run for the gong. Oh, there, there it is. So. Okay, let's just heal fully. Uh, yeah, and let's leave. So that was only the first part. The spirits There's gonna be two more parts. Oh shit, this ghosts. is new. Their stolen key was being used to give the Mongols divine protection. Unless the rituals were stopped and the Kami set free, Sushi could not be saved. Okay, that's a new loading screen. I always had to just go forward. And this is the guy narrating the entire story. See, like, I really liked the main game. More rituals. One beside a river, one at a war camp, and one within a canyon. But the Mongols had almost completely drained the Kami. The ghost would need extraordinary strength to defeat them. See, now it gets serious, because we have to go to three different places full of Mongols, or the demons in here. Osta? Or San, never mind. I thought it said San. Okay, so we're gonna have to get the right buff and go for the right place now. That's why they introduced this mechanic before. 
Uh, I really liked the main game. Is he alive or no? Oh yeah, he is. Uh, but what would like missing for me at least what I would really like to see in the main game was this like supernatural element and this entire DLC if you can call it I guess it's download downloadable content but it's everything is free these days when you say DLC you kind of think about something you have to pay for and like I said literally you don't even need PlayStation plus subscription if you are playing alone only to play with friends and who needs those right <laughs> oh shit we have like a flying platform you can climb probably there yeah the environment is pretty sick in those maps too in the first maps you had like flying bleeding hearts everywhere that was pretty badass too why is this... Oh, maybe it like... Launches me up? <laughs> Never mind. Worth a try though. I want to get the big boy first. That's for sure. Wait, I was... Literally unable to... Oh, now I can... Yeah, the stealth finisher mechanic... Sometimes seems very weird. I have to just start parrying. Oh. I think I could sometimes finish them because they were just walking into my traps. They were getting stunned or something. Ghosts ended the ritual, but their fight was far from over. Okay, okay. I can get this buff again. I don't even know if this does... Oh, I guess it broke, so maybe it does something. Maybe it upgrades my sword. Oh, there we go. Huh, I wonder if I need the buff to make this appear. It has like the sun symbol. We are full anyway. So now it gets interesting just because... Okay, I'm full HP so I'm not gonna waste the drum. Now it gets interesting because that was literally the first thing. Now we have a camp and the canyon too. And there is no save points so... It's important to not back up. I mean, on the bronze difficulty, the only one I can play with my gear right now, you have like an infinite amount of replays too, so... Yeah, I don't think I can really finish both of them. You can also upgrade your character a lot, there is... Oh shit. Yeah, this is bad. Oh yeah, this is bad. Oh, here we go. I'm too old for sure, I'm saving it for way too long. Oh, the big boy. Can I get him? Can I get him? Oh, oh critical strike, he's not gonna even die. Okay, now he's gonna die though. Wait, what the? Did it bug? Okay, I'm 1 HP. Yo, that was kinda weird. I have no idea what happened. I should be able to one-shot like three people with this ult. And it like didn't work. Shema Shema. Let's see. Okay, they're looking for me. They're not leaving the camp though. Interesting. 
Yeah, so my biggest mistake, I didn't look for archers first. We have to eliminate the high ground first. So this guy, this is uh, the biggest boy we got so far in the multiplayer. I can critical strike this one, so he's gonna survive too. If it says only critical stri strike, not, not slaughter. Oh, that's a normal shield guy. Wow, so they are way harder now. Oh yeah, this guy. This is a big boy. I have the sword that's better for the big guys. So that's pretty good. Okay, ow. See, this is the most annoying thing. They didn't fix from the... They didn't fix this from the single player still. If you just keep spamming attacks, when you are able to assassinate someone, it's just not gonna work. Wow, okay, they are pretty tough. Jesus. Oh, I know why, I'm stupid. I need those buffs for them. Can I even do it next? Okay. I can't. Oh no, I have the sun thing on me. Wait, can I not replace them? I have a feeling it's a uh, matter of... It's a matter of uh, not getting chased. Yeah, you need a blue one for this guy, you need a green one for the, the other one. Makes sense, makes absolute sense. Okay, now I was able to finish this guy. Or at least get him to low HP. And yeah, that's bad. Okay, finish this guy at least. Completely <laughs> avoiding to follow the mechanics. Still can do this. Oh, that was close. Huh. Oh no, those things are the ones you need to break. Okay. I thought I was stupid, but it's, it was even worse. Those are the things you break, the buffs you get from something else. Zmiany w kadrze na gram na PlayStation i patrzę na telewizor, to tak pod innym kątem. Bez słuchawek. I zupdatowali ten program. Uh, do streamowania na PlayStation to... Teraz mogę na bezprzewodowym kontrolerze też grać, nie muszę być podłączony do komputera. I don't know where to get the... Okay, you get the blue buff literally there. Wait, is the green buff? No, that's the green guy. Oh, the green buff is here. Okay, now we understand the mechanic though. At least I didn't die. I probably shouldn't say that because I'm gonna die to this solo guy. Unless I can just... <laughs> Yikes. Okay. So it's super easy when you... When you have the buff on. So we have the blue thing, the blue buff was literally next to it, yep. So I wonder if it's timed or what. Or you, maybe you just have the buff until you use it. And another door closed. But the ghost's work was not yet done. Oh, I know that. So we still have one more. I wonder if this is like a, an exploding barrel. I think it is. Yeah, it has a skull on it too. Mm. I really need a healing gong or drum. 
I used this one. Was there another one? There's definitely gonna be one around the final camp. But I'm really not looking forward to going there without healing first. It would suck to die now. Oh, those are the broken ones. The broken shrines. For the buff. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get a, another drum here. This is where I started the, the mission. Oh, Eve, okay. So we have to go for the final camp without healing. Let's see how it... How it's gonna go. I think the moment they... S oh, that's the end of the mission, I'm assuming. The moment they're gonna... Spot me, I think I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna try to do it stealth way until I have the... The healing place. This oh, there is the gong there. I knew there had to be one more. Oh, the, the other camp is there too. Well, I'm still playing a uh, stealth class, so I should be always going stealth. Okay, we have three high ground archers. I shouldn't even shoot this guy. I wonder if I'm gonna get the longbow. Maybe it's... Uh, I mean... Nice. There is definitely... Wh while you are changing the gear in general, there is definitely gonna be different styles of bows probably too. So longbow is like kind of, kind of slow. I really didn't like it, but when it comes to like eliminating the archers far away, it's actually really good. Why would you use this thing? I guess. Oh, maybe you jump on top of it and then to the archer. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, first high ground, then the rest. That's the thing we have to close. I wonder if we can just close it and leave, but... Usually you have to finish all the... Enemies too. Oh, we have a bee hive. Or hornet hive, whatever. Oh yeah, this is bad. Oh no, really? Okay, he... Oh, this guy, oh, they're running to him. But they don't know where I am, so that's good. Hmm. I kinda wish they run up to the tower because I, I would just drop the Hornet Hive on top of them. So we have to close those two gates. We have a blue buff right next to the guy. And the campfire. Then we need a red buff. Or the orange. It's up there. I mean, I don't see that many enemies in this camp. <laughs> Shit. I should have let go. Oh no. Is he gonna climb? Are they gonna follow him? Oof. Huh. Yeah, the AI... ...is still the same I remember from the single player. It's very easy to kill them the stealth way, but... ...in this game mode it's like way more punishing if you die or... There's no healing with just like a push of a button. So. <laughs> really? <laughs> How the hell?
Or I don't even know where he is. Oof. Oh, wait. Oh, he's trying to get an angle to see me? So like in this game mode, it would be a little too hard. Maybe on the higher difficulties, it's only bronze. I'm playing the single, the multiplayer. Oh my god, story for the first time. So I'm playing on bronze. I don't have good enough item level for anything else. They don't even allow me to try to go for the higher difficulties. So maybe they make the AI smarter too. So, but the guy is kind of trying to find me. The only thing that would make more sense is, would be if he came here with friends. But then again, like I said, or I was trying to say, um, it would be a little too hard, I think, if they all just left the camp and started following me. So I'm not gonna even one-shot the big boy, but I do have all my abilities, it's like... <laughs> See, the worst part about stealth in this... in this game was always that the enemies... have to like, actually... Oh, I was trying to dodge. Okay. I do have a sword, that's good for the big boys, so they go down pretty fast. The worst part about stealth in this game was always, in my opinion, that like once they see you, they follow you and they like try to kill you. They might they, they might alert the entire camp. But if they like just see uh, one of their friends dying in front of them, they're just gonna start looking around, they're not gonna look for you or see where the arrow came from. Nothing like that. They, they're just like, oh, a guy died in front of me? Oh, who cares? Oh, he's a red... W oh, shit, okay. Oh, I guess. Oh, I did a finisher on the wrong guy. Okay. Kind of a waste, but... Okay, just finish this guy. Damn it, I need this buff for... Uh, for the gate or whatever there. He lose me? Fuck it. Let's break this thing before he comes back. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Okay, I need this buff. That's actually bad. He was waiting. Oh, there is another blue one there, so. Oh, can we... I guess I can do it without the buff too. Oh, or not. That was a very close one actually. I mistimed it there. Oh! Oh my god. Okay. I forgot this. in this game you can't roll off the cliff. That was a very close one. Oh, he's stunned. Okay, nice. Wait, that's only the second mission, right? <laughs> There's still the third one. That wasn't that easy. The final ritual had been stopped, and the ghosts breathed a sigh of relief. Oh no. But the Kami whispered to the ghost that an even greater threat still remained. The darkest Mongol ritual yeah. was under the care of the great Onibaba, Iyo. Oni Baba. Yeah, there's still one more. But now we get a checkpoint and it's just the third mission. 
Okay, let's go to the gate. I don't know if they heal you fully after finishing one part of the story. Oh yeah, like I like I told you, I think this is Yep. So they literally They literally allow you only to jump on oh, okay, I didn't want to do that. They allow you to jump on top of the platform so you have the right buff for There is quite a lot of new mechanics in this multiplayer mode. Like they reused of course the Mongols and stuff like that just making them look like demons. Kami are honorable. They are not. In my darkest hour I pray to them. But my prayers fell on deaf ears. And an innocent life was lost. I am only taking what they owe me. Do not stand in my way. But yeah, for a free game mode, there's a lot of new stuff. ...by Mongol guardians. The ghosts had to defeat them all. Mm -hmm. One second. Okay, so... Oh, they literally give me the gates here, huh? And the buffed guys. Look at the moon. Interesting, is this the only... This looks like the only place we go to. So they are probably... Harder to kill or something? Yeah, this is literally the final place, I think. Okay, getting, I think, like, this guy is very close. I could assassinate him. Well, maybe not. The other people might see me. We have to get someone down. I mean, we just literally got a save point. So, I think it's all about just going in. I wonder if I can... Uh, the bow probably doesn't kill them fast enough. Please, 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 please. Okay, go back to my trap. Tosho, Tosho. We have archers. Okay, I need other buffs. Yeah, I figured. Oh, I didn't even get any heals. Oh, this is bad. They didn't even heal me after finishing the other part. Oh wait, do I have to... No way I can't, like, reapply the... The buff. Shit, it takes him... Okay, nice, the guy didn't hit me. It takes him so long to get this. I kinda messed up because the archer is the other color. Fuck. <laughs> See, I, I got really bad at timing those. I just spam attacks. And when you start spamming, you can't, you can't dodge, you can't block. Please don't dodge. Oh, nice. 
Get the Toshra guy. Okay, apparently I can assassinate him. Mongols were dead. Okay, but that was easy. The ritual was nearly complete. The only Baba was moments away from victory. So I do wonder if we have to do this. And now the boss will appear, or something like that, probably. It would be nice to get another heal. I was expecting them to heal me after the... ...the second story. Is there literally no... I mean, they gave me one healing drum. It's my fault for leaving the, the other map with no HP. <clears throat> Enraged, the Oni yep. Baba sent the Oni to slaughter the ghosts. You could think I have a... Oh, he oh shit, wait, what? Okay. Nice. I wonder how many waves there's gonna be. Oh shit, I can actually ult them. Please don't... Nice. Okay, this guy with the hammer is... is trouble. Damn, you have to use the entire ult on one guy. No! I always get baited by this... By this rock there. I think I can go through it. I mean, I did once, but you get like kinda stuck in the corner. Oh shit. They get like an extra boost when they are about to... Oh shit, I can use my... My powers on him though. Nice. Thank God I have this good sword. Oh, that was actually not that hard. Balance had returned to the island. All was safe for now. I was expecting like an actual boss to appear, but I think you know that was the third story mission. It's still not gonna be. That hard, I think. Okay, cool, cool. Didn't I didn't die, so... Okay, nice. Let's do another one. I think you have to finish the story like the multiplayer story missions first anyway before you like progress to listen while i to the waves an adventure of the ghosts So we have a new gear, and let's see. Wind Katana. See, this saved me because the big guys are uh, actually like the the biggest challenge so far. There is like mages I fought in a different mission. They, they they definitely will come back. So you know, higher gear level is definitely the way to go. Right now, at least you don't have to look for. Any specific kind of weapon, you just go for what's higher item level, but this kind of saved me there, the Moon Katana, because you you don't have all the stances like you did in the single player. 
you get only the stance your like sword is specified to. So now we're gonna have the spearman. Wind stance. I guess I'm gonna just keep it for now. Just in case, if we are running into trouble and we have to get something good against the big boys. Melee in close combat. Range and archery. Resolve gain on range. Oh, but look at this. I have the perfect parry window. That's actually really good. But still, we need upgrades. Oh, finally, look at this. From 5 to 17. Dirt throw. Oh, and you can just finish them. That's actually really good. Cooldown reduced on kill, too. 40 seconds. The kunai seems very bad in this one. It's it's higher item level, though, but... I mean, they both give me two points. I could just go dirt throw for now. Yeah, this is not gonna... Give me the higher character level. Techniques. Okay, let's see. I'm just unlocking everything because I think I'm gonna be playing this guy always. So, even if I unlock other classes. Shadow Strike gains two extra strikes. That's really good. Appearance. That's pretty badass. See, it kind of sucks. This stuff you unlock by just playing the game here. But yeah, see this? Continue Jin's journey to unlock. Those things I should have unlocked, like this, Fundoshi. <laughs> I should have this. I did every single achievement in the single player, and I had those I had those clothes uh, in single player, so... I don't know why this didn't unlock, because other things on other classes did. So, it's kind of weird. But look at this. There's actually some cool stuff you can unlock by playing the, the waves with other people. They definitely made sure that this multiplayer they added is gonna last for a long time if someone's like into unlocking a lot of stuff. But yeah, let's play another mission. And the dailies are dismantle gear, revive allies. I can't do that because I'm not playing with others right now. Perform perfect dodges. I, do, I wonder if we can even do that. I'll share any story with you. Okay, mission four. The tale of Uchitsuna. Fourteen require no require or recommended is five, really? Oh max gear reward thirty five, interesting. So it's still upgrades, and this I can't even do, so let's begin. I'm just gonna beat the entire story on bronze first. Because they don't even allow me to. To go for higher ones. <laughs> this is the tale of Uchitsune, an archer whose skill rivaled the power of Iyo, the great Onibaba. Fearful, Onibaba. she trapped him in a cursed place enslaving and torturing him with the misdeeds of his past. The ghosts set out to free the warrior from Eo's grasp. Let's do it. Okay, how nice of them to just protected the camp by looking at it and not the road that's leading to the camp. Okay, we have a drum. I have to like save it for, for as long as I can. I'm really hoping there's no one on the roof. I'm just like going in because they're all turned around, so. I wonder if I can go. Huh. 
Wait, is this... Oh, shit. Oh, interesting. So he left the story area. I wonder if he goes back or... Or what? Oh, shit. Look at... Oh, we can actually... Get from the roof to the other side. See, that's also cool because they like split all the abilities from the single player game. And kind of reworked some of them into all the classes in this in this multiplayer. So literally the assassin, um, the one I'm playing, is the only one that can use the grapple uh, hook and just, you know... Do this for example, go from here to there. But I wonder what do they want from me? Let's use the wind. Free dojo of the Mongols. Oh. The hell? I hope the other guy that just completely left. Where is this guy? Oh, so the down area. Can I even like... I wonder if I can just drop down on him and assassinate without dying. He's gonna literally get out of the area I can be in again. Okay, I think that's a mistake on the dev's side. This guy's patrolling the area where I can't go. I'm just gonna wait for him to go back. Shema Shema. That's what I was thinking when he was leaving the area, that I'm gonna have to wait for him, because they always want you to finish everyone before progressing. Okay. The ghost cautiously approached the mole. Wait, the guy is there now? Oh, bow. Spirit the bow. Spirit of an ancient samurai appeared. Welcome, samurai. My name is Ujitsune. Io, the powerful Onibaba, trapped me in this realm. Long ago, my bow was blessed by a kami. If anything can break Eo's hold on this place, it's the bow. The Onibaba's followers approach. Quick, use my bow to defeat them. Oh. Why did I? Oh, I sh probably shouldn't. Into the shadows! Attack them like that, but wait, didn't I, didn't I break it? What what just happened? I thought the guy. Oh, I can just break all the attunements and attack them like that. Okay, now I understand. I thought it was only for the blue one. Yeah, this guy has his one gone. Ah, perfect parry, nice. I'm starting to remember how to play. Yep, okay. Oh, sh whoa, 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 okay, okay. I don't think that was fair, but alright. Oh, I forgot I have five strikes now with this. That's right. I was like, what the hell is happening? But I did get an upgrade. Okay, that bow is pretty cool. Io has played Yoshi Springs. Follow me. We must end the Onibaba's curse. Uchitsune led the ghosts to Yoshi Springs. Now let's go. 
Chitsune was an archer of legend, known for saving an entire kingdom from a fearsome demon known as Gotengu. That is why Eero trapped me. She has been feeding off my spirit in order to push her soldiers beyond their skill. The town of Hiyoshi Springs was overrun with invaders seeking Eo's power. Wield my bow once more to rid the area of Eo's presence. It's always hard to tell if they're gonna actually notice that the guy next to them died or not. Okay, I can shoot at this guy. I guess I have to go up the ladder. Please be stunned for a while. Oh, didn't even finish him, huh? Oh, because he has his stuff back. Huh. So I do wonder if I have to hit them and then attack them in time. Maybe. Okay, this guy's like kinda on the edge. Let's get rid of them. Okay, <laughs> the, the place where I am, it's not even tall enough grass for me to hide. I'm just literally staying in the open. So we have two regular guys, one with the attunement. Nice. Wait, is he under? Easy. The ghosts freed the village, but more cursed Mongols warmed the inn. Let's collect the arrows, free the inn. Oh, there we go. Uh, so there's two guys inside, three guys. Oh, he's not gonna die. Apparently he didn't alert the other dudes. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that. But I do have to get better at... <laughs> ...realizing that I have to shoot someone first before... ...going for the assassination because they're not gonna get one shot. Okay, big boy. We have to shoot him too. Okay. Oh shit, there's more. I have no idea what they are doing. Huh. Also this guy too. We do have the old. If something goes bad. Oh, there's a guy upstairs too. I guess he didn't have the, the thing on him. So they, then they get, don't get stunned, maybe? It's hard to tell because there is like a fog or something above them. It does look like they are upgraded versions, but I think it's just the the aesthetic of the entire thing. Wait, wasn't? Oh, there is the two guys. 
Or they are like alerted and walking around, I guess. Oh shit, is this a... Oh, that's a shrine. This kind of looked like one of those. Oh no, this is... Oh, this is the my, my dude. Free the rest of the town. That's, that's my guy. I thought this was one of those wizards from the first missions. Kinda looked like them. Hmm, do I even... Nah, I'm not gonna use the drum. You could, like, dive. I... Oh, yeah. I do have to remember all the mechanics from the main game. We are kinda going... In deep, maybe I should have used the drum there, but I'm missing only a like a tiny bit of HP. Fuck. Okay. I think we are good. Well, I'm playing alone, so I guess the tip is kind of useless, but I guess thank you. Okay, we have another drum. There is, I think this is like a boss guy, right? From the single player. Oh yeah, I have this. The pocket sun. <laughs> he died. Easy. I have so many powers now, I don't even have to use my ult. I'm like saving it for... for nothing. Okay, good thing we can hide behind that. That was close. Let's see, but if I shoot him with the bow now, I wonder if I can. Let's try. Nice. Okay. So that's how you deal with the archers on the roofs. Break the attunement. Headshot. Okay, two big boys, one archer, everyone is upgraded. They're looking at each other. Oh, one of those higher level swordmen too. Hmm. I am thinking here about what... We have like barrels and stuff, but bringing this to them is kind of... I could get rid of the archer, maybe. Okay, they didn't react to that. Shit, I kinda want to go. We can't grapple or anything. See, I want to get rid of the big boy there. Before I fight two of those. At least they are not connected, that would be crazy. Crazy tough if they had the, the tether between them. So they respawn if you don't kill the other one fast enough. Uh, can I reach this guy? I don't think I can climb this here. Yeah, they're gonna see me. It's literally... I just have to fight three of them at the same time. Oh shit, wrong thing. <laughs> I 
Yeah, spamming. Oh, I have my power. Okay, apparently he can still hit me when I'm using it. Nice. Good thing I saved that old. Disciples were gone. Yoshi Springs was quiet. Now there is one last thing we must do. Okay, enter the gate, but I kinda can they are they gonna allow me to go back? I want to go back for that drum. Now that I kind of figure out that they don't heal me after finishing one part of the story, I do want to always heal fully before we leave. I had a drum in here. There we go. Let's play it safe. Better to be full HP. Wait, the hell? I thought, like, someone yelled. Maybe that was me. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. When I killed the Kotengu, I was unaware of the curse it placed on me. I killed countless more, only to learn later that my eyes had deceived me. My arrows only pierced human flesh. This is what attracted Ego. I am to blame for all that has happened here. I'm pretty sure some of those legends are connected to stuff you hear about in in the single player. The Uchitsune, you had Uchitsune's armor and the legend you had to play through to unlock it, so... This is the guy. You're kidding, right? In be okay, didn't mean to do that. So they have to be kidding, right? There's no way. Okay. The only Baba servants arrived, determined to keep Uchitsune enslaved. Oh no, I just used my power accidentally. Protect the heart of. Oh shit, that's a wave. Yeah, I was about to say, like, I understand they can, like, make it easier for two players. But if you can play alone, they can't force you to. Wait, are they? I think when they enter it... Oh shit, that's my guy. Oh no, he's shooting them doing this thing. Okay, I, I was... What? I was literally unable to aim up. The game was like forcing the aim down on me. So this is how they, they are introducing the wave mode, I think. That you can play with four players. Yeah, he was removing the attunement from them. I was confused. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, this guy's oh what the I was about to say you're owning and you're leaving the Archel alone there. Shit. Don't die to this last guy. I don't want to use my ult. No! Why am I spamming buttons? Okay, we have the... Oh, that's one death though. Uh, I think it like lowers your stats or something when you get the rewards. I was greedy for the... I didn't want to use the ult. 
the fact that I started spamming attacks. Kind of embarrassing. They, they have the attunement bug. Still the auto aim in the game when it comes to like choosing the enemies you want to attack is so bad. That was the one of the biggest complaints I had about the game when I played the single player. Oh you can charge into them, I forgot about that stuff too. I'm just gonna use the drum. Played safe now. It went way worse than the last time. Oh, I hit both of them. Wow. The pocket sound is pretty good. Nice, perfect parry. I, I need to parry attacks. That's all, all there is to it. Okay, we have the ult. I'm like spamming attacks on people instead of trying to perfect parry and then counter attack. And you can just do a lot of damage. Nice, you got two of them again. I think there's, yeah, there's people behind me, definitely. Shit. Okay, messing up again. Just hold them. Oh! See, I should run away and hold. Ambush target, tip. I mean, I guess they are running into the area, not me. Oh no, my ult ended. That sucks. Are they going from... Yep, of course they are going from... Different directions again. <laughs> Where are you aiming with that stuff? What? Is a... Okay, there is weird stuff happening. I wasn't even attacking at all and he started attacking someone there. I do have to like save some of my stuff for the later waves for sure. I do wonder if they balance it when you are playing alone. I don't think so. I think it's always for the two player, meant for two players what I'm playing right now. But they are allowing you to play alone, so. Nice, we have to do the perfect parries. It just has to happen. I'm gonna try to ambush them now. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I can. We don't even have like high grass or anything. Well, the arrows actually make no, do no damage. See, like, he's attacking a guy behind me when this guy has his posture broken. My biggest complaint about this game from the past. Oh yeah, I have the spear thing. I can have... Uh, see, again, I forgot. I can just heavy attack and they're never gonna get a hit on me. It's always a parry if you spam attacks against the, the spearman. 
Okay, they're gonna go from both directions again. Of course they will. I have my ult ready. The pocket sound is pretty good. Not gonna lie, the pocket sound actually owns. Okay, so probably the last wave, I would assume. I need to use this more. But I have to be careful because when I was ulting. Oh, fire arrows. Okay, there is someone shooting from behind me. No? Apparently not. I'm gonna play it safe with this guy. Hell yeah. Rid he or she springs and Uchitsune of the terrible curse. My spirit may be free, but I will not be reborn just yet. I must find new ways to stop the only Baba's evil. Uchitsune found redemption and RP. A new purpose. Thanks to the ghosts. Let's go. I died once, but. It wasn't just my greed, I guess. I think we still had the, another wave there, so I would... Yeah, I didn't have the drum ready, so I would probably die in the in the next wave anyway. Deeds of the ghosts are many. Let me share one with you. Ba, ba, ba. Wait, what? Oh, gear modifications now available. Materials gained from daily challenges to upgrade and re-roll gear items. Oh, cool. See, there is a lot of depth into this game mode. It's not like they just, oh, we allow you now to play together the same game again. It's actually, there is a lot of stuff to do in this. I'm definitely not going to be upgrading stuff that is like low level here. Oh, 21. Water katana. Shieldmen. I guess shieldmen are annoying too. Melee damage. Cool. Dismantle the previous ones then. We have a daily for dismantling too. Oh, blue. Rare. Combat regeneration. Health regenerates up to 50 max a health. Killing rate reduced by half when in combat. Oh, so you get like max regen that, that if you have like a tiny bit of HP and it goes up uh, automatically, but the healing rate reduced by half when in combat. Interesting. Ranged resolve gain. I mean, it's high level one too. Draw speed. That's pretty cool too. I'm gonna keep the blue though.
Gimme, gimme. Okay. Um, we have 20 white, one dirt throw. Let's go for it. See, I'm not getting any anything for this load. Also the bow too. So now I'm behind on those. With my eye level. Appearance. Uh, a new armor. Oh, that's cool. I do kind of wish they gave me the stuff I unlocked from the single player, but <laughs> I love this one. The bird. <laughs> Find and collect only treasure. Gyozen's Lost Scrolls. See, I, I was kind of looking around when I played the first missions off stream. I was kind of looking around, taking my time with those. I didn't find any collectibles, so I do wonder what those items are. And see, this stuff is like Nightmare, sur nightmare Survival Mission without losing a single defense area. Nightmare Story Mission with all bonus objectives. That's actually doable, I think. Depending on what the bonus objectives are. Survival and gold. See, the survival stuff is for meant for four players, so... Story, meant for two players, I can play alone, but... For survival... I mean, if I'm gonna be really into this game, but tomorrow... Also, I was uh, writing on my Discord. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be playing the new... Uh, Amnesia game. Amnesia Rebirth, I think it's called. Looks very cool. We're gonna be doing that. Another horror game for the horror month. Eventually, we'll see if I go back to uh, Resident... Uh, not Resident Evil. Um, what it's called. Silent Hill 3. Because it was kinda, it was kinda draining me. It, it wasn't that enjoyable, but... I don't like leaving games unfinished. It bothers me. I usually don't do it, so... Okay. Um... But yeah, tomorrow definitely the new new Amnesia game. Another thing for the horror month. Uh, revive all the per perfect dodges, so I still didn't do them. I do wonder what those points are for the daily ones. I have three for one daily. And I'm not sure what you buy for them. See, there is gonna be like, right now there's missions and waves. There's gonna be an actual raid in the future too. So, you know, maybe if we have more time when there's, when I like beat the horror games for this month, maybe I'm gonna actually buy the PS Plus subscription and play with other players, maybe do the raid. With randoms, it's usually very hard to do those, though. Which of these legends interest you? I would need a group to play with. There's some challenges, too, and stuff like that. Okay, a crow. The crow demons of Otsuna. Otsuna. Let's go. Halfway in. Five more missions. This is the f fifth one. Then four more. See, I'm still behind. I can't even try silver, but enemies provide a robust challenge in battle. Terrible only dominate all but the most seasoned warriors. Oh, look at this. Free continues. I mean, I usually don't die. This time I died once because I was super greedy at the end, so I would probably be still able to beat silver myself. And you have two continues. Any ghost death will fail the mission. Interesting, so it's kind of like randoms can mess you up Let's if they die a lot. I'm assuming the, the like reply, the replays, the revise are limited to like the entire team, not every oh, yes. player has the their own. Demons of when the Mongols and the demons conspired to take a village in Kubara, and a mysterious legend awaited the ghosts somewhere in the cavernous darkness. Our story begins with a fisherman in need. Huh? 
new enemies. Help! I took my friend. Please hurry. But yeah, also the when you play like with other players, you they can revive you before you die. When I'm playing alone, you know, if I if I get downed, it's restart time. They would have to all die. Two players would have Below to get the down here. Stood a figure surrounded by crows. Its black eyes searched for prey, hungry. The Tengu. The Tengu, yeah, I remember. Crow demons. You had a duel with Tengu in the single player game, and there was like crows flying around you. That's pretty badass. I like that they are like using the same legends and like e e expanding them here. Um. Uh, oh, he's. That's a torch, I'm assuming. Okay, hopefully we don't alert the rest. Oh, I, I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Squeeze under, really. A critical strike is not gonna die. Oh, oh, sh oh, whoa, 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 oh, they're killing a hostage, no! Oh my god, the crows. Can't see them. Two complaints I had about this game. In single player. Camera work and the auto lock on, on enemies. Instead of choosing your own targets. It's still in the game. Too bad. That was literally my only two complaints about the single player. And it's still there in multiplayer. Sometimes you just get lost with the camera. And it's the worst when you're like facing someone. Attacking them. And your guy is gonna like try to attack someone oh, behind you or something. I've, I've heard of you. They say, thank you. Thank you so much. I was in, I was in Otsuna village. There were thousands of crows, so many. The demons. Please, my boat, take it. Save our village, please. Okay. I like that the... Like all the humans you interact with have masks on. And the Mongols have like the demon faces or masks too. You don't see a single normal face in this game mode. Wait, didn't I see... Oh yeah, there we go. Just fully heal, why not? I'm leaving anyway. Wherever the Tango go. Crows surely follow, as do terrible things. Tango are tricksters, manipulators. Some say they can even invade dreams and possess the mind and spirit. And this game looks so good, still. I kind of... It feels like a one-time game kind of deal. One story and it just closed. But I kind of wish they like extended, maybe. But <laughs> then again, I don't know if I'm gonna have a PS5. Probably eventually. I don't think I'm gonna be buying it on release though. The prices of the games are just insane. Especially for like my country and my currency. Only to find Otsuna village had been visited by death and destruction. Two villagers. Okay, some more. That, that's one of the hostage missions you're gonna see. It's harder because, you know, the moment they see me, they're going for a hostage and they want to kill them. It's no longer just me trying to survive. Okay, for a second I thought that was a guy. But yeah, like, I was kind of thinking about buying PS5 on release. Because I do have enough money to buy the d digital version, but... The prices of the games. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna upgrade my PC. 
probably next month we'll see how it goes when the new CPUs come out and it should be a huge upgrade like swapping my i5 shit oh great are they going for the hostages? Not sure. I don't think so, yeah. Okay, now they are. This guy was going after me, now he's going for the hostage. Please don't. Oh, <laughs> timing. I kind of wasted that. I should be using my power-ups way more often. Like this. Oh. Nice. I mean, on this difficulty, I guess I could just be I I using stealth way less. But I'm playing a stealth class, so... And I, it, it's enjoyable, I mean... The AI gets kind of stupid sometimes, but if I was just like, you know, running in and slashing everyone with my katana, playing as a samurai class and healing over and over by attacking people when I have my power-ups. I mean, I'm enjoying this class, the, the stealth in this game, even when the AI is kind of stupid, it's enjoyable still. Oh no, okay. I was gonna... Oh, because I don't have the... Okay. The bow was only a thing for... Wait, I can... Oh my god. Run or dodge? I mean, wasn't that what I was doing? I do have to use a... A drum now. There we go. Oh, it healed me partially. Oh, you get like, when you get out of combat, you get like a small heal, and I think my, my current charm makes it so I heal more. I think that's how it works. Is this guy alone? Looks like it. Okay. <laughs> See, this thing? Pretty annoying too. Sometimes when you want to use the stealth, but you do, do the light attack. Or stealth takedown, I mean, and you do the light attack. Uh, I mean, right right now, again, it kind of feels... I can just drop down on them, I guess. And just slice them with the sword instead of trying to go super stealth. It is pretty easy, too. save the hostage before they run up to him. They don't immediately finish. Shit. Okay. He's going through the middle. I kinda wonder if I'm gonna get a multi takedown in multiplayer. With the level ups. I guess I could check. The others, they took them across the river. I heard the demon speak, but it was a different tongue, an evil tongue. All I could understand an evil was tongue. Onibaba. Onibaba. <laughs> okay. Nice. Taking damage to fire instead of enemies. Smart, smart. Uh I see something red there, let's see. I definitely I have to go for this village. We have a drum. Why can't I... Okay, there we go. Cross the river. I was trying to swipe up. To see the... Thing I have to do. On the touchpad.
Okay, okay. It's kind of weird. I mean, I do like that it's not no longer a thing, at least for now. I think they just, in the story, introduce all the mechanics to you and in the waves and stuff. And in the raid, definitely, in the future, there is gonna be, like, all those mechanics combined. We still have, like, four other missions than this one in the main story. But there was, like, a lot of mechanics. I wonder if I can kick him into the... I can... Oh no, we have a different stance now. Never mind. Yeah, we have the stance for the shields, that's right. We don't have the stance for the spears anymore. The heavy attack, when you hold down the heavy... With the stance for the spears, he does a kick. You can, like, kick people into the water and stuff. Okay, we have the hostage here. Um, I forgot what I was talking about earlier. Oh yeah, the, the mechanics. Like, they in the first mission, or a second one... I think first, yeah, the first mission they introduced, like, mechanic of... Two enemies... Connected with, like, a tether, and you have to... Kill both of them... Before the one of them respawns. And it's no longer a thing. But it's like clearly a co-op thing, so I'm glad I don't have to deal with that. Tengu. They ripped them apart. Playing alone. <clears throat> okay. And... Rescue one more villager. Let's follow the wind. Okay, I'm almost full HP. I just got hit by the <laughs> fire I walked on, so let's not waste the... Oh no, the doggos. I mean, they are not hard, they are just... I don't like to hurt the dogs, even in a video game. It bothers me. Oh no, the Tango guy. Fucking Tango guy. Into the shadows. I'm gonna die actually to him. I should have done that, yeah. Wait! Okay, he's just dying. Are you actually... <sighs> There's someone drilling above me. I don't think you can hear it, but... Someone just started drilling right now. Wait, I'm getting healed for like a lot out of combat. That's actually a really good charm I have on me. We have still one more drum there. They're pretty generous, at least on this difficulty. For now with the heals. They are limited, but they are generous with them. That's a big boy. Oh, there's another sword guy coming too. I can squeeze... Uh, that's gonna be stupid if it alerts him. No, nice. Oh, uh, where is the... Okay, I lost the sword guy. There he is. I'm not sure if I can one-shot him with an assassination. But I should be fine fighting him. Fuck. Oh, nice. Did they hear it though? This guy is kinda like, on the edge. Okay, we just have to fight them anyway. One assassination, then fighting the other guy. Wait, he didn't finish him? What? Okay. Apparently that wasn't the... Uh, he did a light attack instead of assassinating. 
There we go. Tengu. They flew down from the old monastery. And the cave. Beware of the cave. The ghost traveled toward the mountains, hoping they could stop the Tengu and find the cave that had terrified the villagers. I guess just use the drum. Um Can I do this? <laughs> I can. I don't even know if that healed me. I guess I'm, I was full HP. Oh yeah, because after the fight I'm guessing it heals you. It didn't say that I used it the drum though, so that's kind of weird. You are trying to stop what you do not know. The people are angry. The island is angry. Once the Tengu have taken their bodies, word will spread of my coming. The people will listen. The people will know. Oh, well, let's go. The monastery loomed over the trees in the distance. The ghosts pressed on, searching for the source of the Tengu. Okay, okay. What's the mission? Just conquer the Tengu and guards, okay. No hostages. Another one of those guys though. I think I'm better off... Ooh. Oh, his crow. Oh, there is an eagle. I remember this from the single player. I wonder if his crows count as eagles. From a single player. It looked like it, but... Maybe just they just have an eagle now or something. Oh shit, are you actually serious? How the hell did he not see me? Okay, we can get this guy, he's alone. He just has to stop. Nice. Okay, they are walking away from the Tengu guy, that's good. He's looking the other way too. That's a perfect combo. Headshot and jump down to assassinate. Okay, I need to. Okay, he's looking at me. I'm assuming his crows work as eagles, so you can't really... I mean, I assassinated him or did the critical strike, you can assassinate. Assassination is a one-shot. Critical strike is on the enemies that have too much HP for you. Oh, but they... okay. Okay, it, it, it does stop his attack. Oh shit, Tosha? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, they did see me. The path wound deep. Easy. Okay, didn't even have to use the drum. That's good. I kind of actually like, I mean, it definitely is fun, I bet, to beat this with someone. But like the first time you beat it on the lowest difficulty, it's kind of cool to like go alone and do it stealth way. Unless you have like, a, you know, some other person that's gonna do it together with you doing stealth. But like, oh, there's two Tengus next to each other. Fuck, can't really. Okay, nice. 
He's gonna see me doing it. Oh yeah, he sees me now. Oh shit, that's so bad. Oh, it healed me a lot for killing the guys though. Oh no. Fuck, I wanted to assassinate this guy. <laughs> Look at the HP I lost while I was doing the ult. That sucks. Okay, kill him. Nice. The ghost reached the okay, let's see how they... And oh, great HP. Yes, it's, re it's regenerating. Something unnatural. Beyond just human. Oh, but it regenerated like very... Very low. But you do get some HP back after fighting people, I guess. Uh, okay, so I'm done here. We are just going forward. The tango defeated the cave group. Kojiro's cave. spirit and his guards. The ghosts found themselves before Kojiro. The spirits once blessed me. But now, Io has cursed me with something so much more. The Kojiro guy was a duel in a single player too. You had to duel him. In the exact same cave, I'm pretty sure, but it looked different. It didn't, of course, have all that crazy aesthetic they added with this DLC. Uh, okay, we can do it. I remember this cave was so laggy. I think they reduced the amount of uh, of the lights on the water. <laughs> I think that was creating like crazy lag. This fight was so not enjoyable because of the lag on the regular PS4. Oh, Kojira. He just appeared in the middle. See, like, what is... Hello? Okay, I'm almost dead, and that's great. Okay, perfect parry, at least. Is he invisible? Oh, was I... Oh, my guy was aiming at him, I bet. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. I was, like, waiting for him to attack, then I started attacking and I died. We have to replay the entire thing, I bet. Yeah. God damn it. That sucks. The ghost oh. reached the cave. Okay, never mind. Power inside. Something Tango defeated. Never mind, I guess when safe. there is like a big boy boss. The ghosts found themselves Wait, did they? Kojiro. The spirit They swapped places. Blessed me. But now, Io has cursed me with something so much more. Can you see that they actually swapped places? The big boy with the other dude. Oh yeah, and I can see the Kojiro guy now too. I want to... Huh, it's gonna be hard to do. Shit, now assassinating anyone in here is hard. I want to get the big boy, but I mean, they're gonna see me. Oh my god, that was so close. We have to use all my powers for this guy. Yeah, he's not even that hard, it's just about me using my equipment on him. I'm stupid. I'm actually stupid. <laughs> I killed him with sand. Io could no longer control the Tengu was unable to rally the people to her cause. But the mm, crows cool. of Utsina were only part of her plan. I actually killed him with sand. What a way to go. A badass ghost. <laughs> Defeated by sand.
Nice, let's go. Mission completed. Oh, really? Is this... Oh no, that's a blue sound, I'm pretty sure. We still didn't get a better bow, though. I'm getting unlucky on the items for the slots I'm getting. I have a bad bow and a bad... I don't know what. I think one of those powers is an upgrade for me, though, for the, the other slot. The of the ghosts are many. Let me share one with you. Is it? No. Oh yeah, it is. So the caltrops for a smoke bomb. Smoke bombs are actually cool. Cooldown reduction or cooldown reduction on kill. Just cooldown reduction. This makes no sense. I mean, it kind of does, but yeah, it's still better to have 10% cooldown reduction in general. In general, like when you're fighting people and running away, it's gonna recharge faster. We're gonna... We're about to hit the daily too. So this one, cooldown reduction on kill, status effect duration, lights targets on fire? The dirt lights them on fire? What the hell? That's actually an insane. Insane. And, and I wonder if the status effect duration is only the stun from the sand or does it... Maybe it's talking about the, the fire status effect too. So range resolve gain, 1% more here. Now this adds one more total eye level though, so it's worth equipping I guess. And combat regeneration. It's kinda good to, to use this, I think. It's better. This combat region is always something. You get that extra HP for for fighting someone. I I am pretty sure it's it's better to have this equipped. I don't have to like stack eye level anyway. I don't think it's something stupid like Destiny did that you have to equip your best items to roll the best eye level from the rewards you get. I don't think they, they did something like that. We have to dismantle six more items, okay. And I don't, I never, like, I started parrying. I, I did perfect parries, but I don't do perfect dodges. Maybe, maybe it's about time to start. Which of these legends interest you? So we are at this one now. Caravan of Thieves. Sacred Relics are stolen from profane purpose or profane purpose purposes okay four left in the main story on the bronze difficulty one of my favorites This is a story of sacred relics stolen for profane purposes. When the Mongols targeted divine artifacts, and how the ghosts rose to stand in their way. Cool. Let's see. Investigated the sounds in the temple. Okay, that's... That... Wait, what? Is this the temple or what? I am limited. I can't go beyond the like dark fog. <coughs> oh, 
Oh. Weird. No, return to the story yard. Why is this... The wind is showing that I have to go that way. And it's not showing me the right object... Oh, okay. I guess. As the ghosts neared, they were met by a single monk. Over here! Over here. I wonder if there's fall damage in this one. A Mongol scout was pulling this cart. He ran to warn his friends when he spotted me. As the ghosts knew, a scout meant more Mongols were near. They're coming! Please! Oh, oh great. The temple grounds. Oh, he's helping me. Don't shoot the monk, come on. Another group of Mongols appeared intent on killing the monk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> They're not attacking the monk, he's just standing there. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> That's so stupid, I don't think they... I don't think they kind of predicted someone's gonna get an ambush on them there. The fearsome Oni suddenly charged at the ghosts. The demon's eyes were as red and fiery as its massive shield. Nice, the monk is kind of distracting them too. Oh no, this thing. The hell? No, for a second I thought this was the... Wait, I could have... Nice. Yeah, the power-ups are the way to go. Oh, I always lose my health only because I don't use the power-ups. Thank you for standing still and waiting for me to headshot you. He's on fire now. Oh, that's crazy good. Oh my god. That's actually OP. Yeah, the healing is nice too. The passive healing. Though there were many stolen relics, the statue was nowhere to be found. Please find the statue. It's sacred to our people. The ghost continued searching below the temple. Sure, I'm just gonna hit it to hit it and have the full HP. Why not? Is he gonna assassinate together with me? I don't think so. Nice. Wow, they actually started going this way so they didn't see the other guy dying. The ghosts discovered the rest of the caravan's guards. <laughs> and they died. Oh, never mind, there's more. And that's a big boy. Getting rid of this big boy? Okay, I'm gonna try to stealth him, but it's literally a matter of just using the sand on him once. It's here. But where were they taking it? Shit. Oh. He's doing some crazy stuff. Easy. 
Yeah, using the power-ups. They recharge very fast. It's like 30-40 seconds cooldown. I should be always using them. I kinda... Along with this statue, the ghosts found a map with the path the Mongols were taking. I know that area on the map. I'll show you the way. I have to get the muscle memory for that stuff. Many believe temple statues hold great power, sometimes even containing the spirit of a kami. Other times, that of a demon. Okay. Ghosts arrived at the first marked location on the map and planned their attack. If the map is right, the Mongols will pass this way soon. 70 seconds. Ambush the Mongols using barrels. Um. I'm assuming I can just shoot a normal arrow in those. I don't have to go for the flame ones. I think only once I got the flaming arrows from a body of an enemy. Hopefully they are coming from this way. It would suck if they are coming from the other way. That would make no sense though. That would actually make no sense. Shit, there's more barrels. Let's move this one here in case they can reach the monk. Get ready. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. Nice. Okay, yeah, I should have used more, but that's good enough, I think. Nice. Okay, they just... I'm gonna wait for them to just group up. Wait, what? It just... Okay, the one didn't explode at all. What? Sometimes the inputs like don't work or something. The ghosts oh, another one. Mongol and demon alike, but more enemies were on the horizon. Run, run, run! The barrels actually did a lot of damage. I think not every single one of them is... Yeah, this is like arrows or something in the barrel. Or may maybe the calatrops or whatever they're called. Yeah, this is an explosive barrel, I think, at least. This one is something else. That's another explosive one, it's red. Yeah, and I think those are like... You have to break them to make the... Traps fall on the ground. Maybe they get poisoned or something? No idea. I'm doing the same thing again though. It helped a lot for sure. The ghosts heard the rest of the caravan approaching. I do have three flame arrows. That's a lot of normal guys. Nice, hit all of them. Didn't do a lot of damage, but still hit them. I mean, uh, uh, some of them are almost dead, so it did it. A lot, actually. <laughs> so weird how they reacted that, though. Fuck it. Was, yeah. Wait, I can't... Okay. 
apparently can't jump on top of his head because it's no longer an ambush. Yeah, those guys are easy. They just charge and then they're vulnerable. Perhaps the things they stole have already been taken ahead. We should find out where they were going. Huh? Easy. Oni found many ways to travel between the heavenly realms. Some even convinced humans to release them from their prisons. The ghost reached the final location on the map in the Umugi Swampland. I dare not go any further. It's up to you now. Oh, great. You're leaving me alone, huh? So, you've come to stop me. Kill them, kill them, kill them if you wish. They did their part. Yeah, this guy's not gonna die. Okay, I kind of fucked up. Oh, just roll to them. Okay, you can teleport like that. That's pretty badass, actually. Oh, come on. What? He hit me? There was too much noise, I didn't hear what the narrator actually said. Oh, so those are small heals too, I, I noticed this earlier. That I get a small amount of HP when I pick up arrows. He found bodies. He's kinda alerted now. But the thing is, they never like alert the entire camp or something, they are just... See, like he's doing weird stuff because he saw some bodies. That's all there is to it. The Oni met the ghosts in battle, eager to protect the stolen statues and relics, eager to protect Eo's army. I mean, thank God that the person that's dr drilling or doing something lives far away because I can, like, not really hear it that well, but I can't believe someone actually started some construction, like, work or whatever in their house right now. It's 7 p.m. and they just started. I mean, it's annoying because I can hear that annoying sound, but it's not that loud. The mic is not even picking it up, I think. So that's at least something. Let's kill this guy. Oh. Okay, let's almost get caught and now let's kill him. Look at this. That's the throwing knives here. I wonder if they forgot to remove this texture. That's where you pick up throwing knives in the single player. But those things are abilities now. This guy inside? Oh, oh, you can... YOLO. Okay, they didn't see me. Somehow. Is there people above... Oh, there is people above me. Okay. Oh, they actually didn't hear that or see me. Crazy. Oh, he has a lot of. Oh, that's a big boy. That's like a boss. See the power ups? I'm telling you. Oh, okay. I was able to do another critical, apparently. 
the power-ups are the way to go. If you don't use them, you just lose too much HP. Damn it, this guy was probably walking under where I am right now. Oh shit. Oh. Wow. <gasps> no, I fucked up. Actually, I didn't. Wow. Blind. Actually blind. Fuck. Yeah, the stealth has some very weird moments, but... I would definitely be raging if they could, like, see you immediately. And also, we are, again, playing on bronze difficulty. You have to play it on bronze all the way through to get items. An item level for the higher difficulties. But this pocket sound... Did he even... Oh, I missed him. Shit, this attack. Very nice. So we get a, like a tiny bit of HP. Oh. There was a sleeping guy. All this time in here. defeated, Eo's plan had failed. The statues and relics were returned to the temple nice. and kept that was under watch. Kind of a cool story, but very short. But even today, some claim they feel the power of Oni pushing against their prisons, eager to enter our world once more. I kind of prefer the ones like this. I mean, there was no really new mechanics, but we had like some boss guy inside. Oh, we had the we got a guard. Is that a healing item? Oh, we get the... The darts too. Interesting. I think that's, an, that's a healing item actually. I don't know if it's worth, it depends what it replaces. I did a shorter mission with more action. Kinda... Kinda cooler than the 40 minute mission with just like waves of enemies. I have many legends for you to enjoy. So let's see. We didn't get a new sword again. Oh, so instead of a bow, you have the blowgun. I don't know if that's worth. That's really not worth, I think. Inflict status effects. How... Like, what's the ammo like? Range attacks have a chance to apply the bleed effect. Stealth attack damage, too. Hallucination darts. I mean, that's a big upgrade when it comes to eye level, but imagine not being able to shoot people with bows. If that's gonna be like the single player, that you have like three darts and that's it, that's gonna be terrible. I don't know if I want to try it. I kinda do. But at the same time, it's like... I might be very... very screwed without a bow, if the blowgun is very limited. It says it has a chance to apply bleed effect, so it seems like it's a normal range weapon now. It's hard to say, I guess we are gonna try it out, but it might be very very bad. Quickly hear yourself for 25 health. Ghost offering health. Healing increased, strong brew. That's kinda cool, a healing item like that. You can just wait before engaging again. And the caltrops were pretty good, they last quite a long time. Multiple enemies can go into them. It actually upgrades your eye level too. But the heal would be nice. It's a rare too. I'll definitely dismantle this for now. I could go like that. 
less ranged resolve gain. The combat regeneration is nice. Half healing rate reduced by half when in combat. That's kind of. No, but I guess you use. It's like you heal. This heal I get is still what gets reduced, so. Now I think on like an offensive ability rather than healing one. But the healing one does seem cool. Okay, perform a stronger stealth attack dealing twice. Uh, normal damage from stealth to active. Costs one resolve. Interesting. Oh, so for the big boys, huh? That's kinda cool. Strong attack to one shot to the big boy. I kinda like that. I mean, I have to get them anyway. This is my main class. I'm really enjoying it. But... That's kind of a cool addition. That wasn't a thing. I always... I always uh, w was complaining about that too, that you couldn't uh, do a stealth attack attacking with a strong attack, only with uh, with the uh, with the quick one, the light attack. I still didn't get the dismantle gear one, but I got one extra daily point for something. I don't know what. I guess let's continue. What legend would you like to hear? Three more. The Stranded Dead, Tides of Battle, for, uh, the Fire Spirits of Yarikawa. A harrowing tale. Let's do it. This is a tale of how the ghosts fought man and spirit alike. A Mongol named Sukhbatar had found a way to enslave the dead before they could be reborn. He hoped to create an invincible army that would allow him to easily conquer Tsushima. With every enemy he killed, Sukhbatar gained an obedient soldier. Cool. The Stranded Dead. I kinda... Hmm? See, the thing is, the I would need... The felt the heat from the rising flames. The dead littered the ground. That's sick, actually. Bloodied and terrified, a Mongol called out for help. The visuals in this game, they were always sick, but now with the like supernatural stuff, it's actually like insanely good looking. Oh, you probably can. Can you? Use like the photo mode? Photo mode must be enabled when selecting a mission. Interesting. That's a Mongol. Sukwata betrayed us. He believes we are too weak. He'll kill us all and control our spirits. <laughs> oh shit, okay. Through oh. the fog came the spirits of the recently slain. Oh that's sick. They stepped over their own corpses to attack the ghosts. Into the shadows! Shit, he's using the weird stance. Yeah, this, like in the single player, the samurais are way harder to deal with than the Mongols. Mongols suck. They're so predictable. Just brute force. Oh, 
Nice. That's actually sick how they like appeared with the lightning strike. Oh, I'm just spamming attacks again. There's a guy behind me, I think, if he aimed it there. <laughs> okay. I need my power up to be back. I got healed for a little bit. Nice. <laughs> There's more though. But wait, there is more. Nice, perfect parry. <laughs> I always try to use a power up. Okay, just hold. Play it safe. Enemy or not. Damn it. It was actually the last one. The Mongol's hand clasped a scroll outlining the path of Sukubatar's army. The ghosts set out in pursuit that was actually sick how they appeared with the with the lightning strike and started uh, like going around me somehow Sukubata had found a way to create onryo vengeful spirits they followed his every order mongol new enemy type and samurai alike fell under Sukubata's control. Oh yeah, so we're fighting Samurais now too. Yeah, the visuals in this game, so good. The ghost followed the path until they came across a small, quiet village. But the flashes of lightning revealed they were not alone. Oh, so okay. Those Samurai ghosts are always like hard to see. That is pretty sick. Oh yeah, I can't see them with this vision. Only when the lightning strikes. They're kind of visible. I that... Of course. Okay, I'm getting a little better. Oh shit, there's more of them. Okay, I got to assassinate him though. Oh. That was a close one, but I parried. Yeah, the parry is the way to go. <laughs> They're so hard to see, that's actually insane. You can't even tell if they're still chasing you, is there more? Nice. Man, that's like, they are so good at doing this. They just like outdid themselves. Creating this multiplayer thing. Just the ideas, like the lightning strikes with the ghosts. That's a counter for my stealth, actually. That's a big counter for my stealth. It's hard to see them. Like the entire single player mode was actually... Uh, was already... Like super... Movie-like and like... That's a no, I thought... Oh my god. I was gonna for... I was gonna exa uh, execute this guy. And then I thought the marker was showing another enemy here. And it was uh, like a guy in the bush there. That saw me. They baited me with this thing here. Puddles of blood darkened the pure white snow leading out of the village. 
So what I was talking about is like they are the like the entire single player campaign was like an actual like Hollywood movie. Like you could tell the the guys that made the game got inspired by all the Kurosawa's movies, like the old school samurai stuff. That they did their homework and that they are, they are super creative and this game mode. Like adding the supernatural stuff, the cool way, like telling you the legends. So like they can actually add the demons and stuff to this world. And it still makes sense because you are listening to the tales. It's not like the entire map just up, like suddenly the DLC is about, oh yeah, so there is ghosts apparently in this world. Man, it's actually kind of creepy that I can't tell where they are. The ghosts found an unfinished Ofura. An amulet meant to keep the spirits away. Interesting. That's a guy patrolling. <laughs> it's kinda... Oh, poison. Oh yeah, I do have poison darts. Okay, eight. Ten. So ten is max, I'm pretty sure. Wait, weakening? Oh. Oh, oh weakening darts. Interesting. Now the question is how the darts work. Is the guy getting one-shotted? Do I have to hit the head? Like, I kind of wonder if the darts are the same ones from the single player or did they rem remade them for something else? Stains led toward the window, as if someone had crawled there to escape. Okay, cleanse the village now. I think they're gonna show me the enemies now. Maybe not, because they're ghosts. But that's kinda... I mean, that would be kinda cheap to see them now. I do hear one, like... Swinging his sword or something. But at the same time, it's kind of annoying because now I have to look around for an invisible enemy. He is somewhere next to me. Maybe in here? I am waiting for the lightning strikes and it's kind of like... Not revealing the guy. Well, let's test it then. Oh, he's... Is he right in front of me? He is. I want to test it anyway, though. Okay, so the darts suck. You can't, you can't like, quietly take out someone. Yep, going back to the bow. I don't care how much worse the item level is. We need a bow. Oh, now they marked him, I think. Is a guy inside? Oh, there we go. Is that all? No. Oh, it's kind of cool that you show me them one by one. Okay, I thought that was a ghost. Nice. Are we 
done now? Still. Yeah, that's that's the annoying part. See, like they're patrolling outside there. Maybe oh maybe ghosts are immune to poison. Maybe that's how it works here. It looks like it, but I don't. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe you one shot Mongols with it, but I think it's gonna make m much more noise than. Than just headshotting someone with a bow. Am I full HP? I am. That's a cool mission. That's such a cool idea with the lightning strikes. Wait. This guy just started bleeding out of nowhere. It looked like I hit him with the poison dart or something. I was looking at the guy that was far away. This one pr almost saw me. Yeah, they're puking blood, like they get poisoned, but... I remember Mongols doing that too, I guess that's like the effect they added for the enemies. To make the world, like, gory and stuff. But it's kinda weird that the ghost is puking blood, maybe that they did it unintentionally. They're doing the same thing that Mongols do. The Mongols are like, undead. Undead puking blood makes sense, but like, ghosts, not really. Okay, there we go. Clasped tightly in the man's hand was a blood-stained scroll, covered in strange symbols. The ghosts struggled to make sense of the cryptic writing, certain they were linked in some way to the spirits. In the distance, the ghosts heard the sounds of a Mongol patrol approaching. Oh, that's great. Observe the Mongols from cover. Um, oh, there we go. Are they gonna get ambushed by the ghosts? I think those are the ghosts, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're gonna get messed up. The ghosts watched as spirits of slain samurai emerged from the fog to fight the Mongols. I mean, why would I intervene? Wait, did Mong- oh no, the last Mongol just died. Search the slain Mongols, what about the ghosts though? I'm gonna wait for another lightning strike, in case there's more ghosts. Do they all kill each other? Hello? <laughs> I mean, I hear the thunders, but... It's kinda weird, I guess they just... All died. The bodies of the dead Mongols bore the insignia of Sukhbatar. The ghosts were on the right track. Nice, nice. Sukhbatar sacrificed allies and friends alike to increase the number of spirits under his control. For he desired an army compelled to obey his every whim. One that knew no fear and could never retreat. Ok, 
Okay, chapter 3. I remember this village. The burning tree, yeah. The ghosts finally caught up to Sukhbatar's forces. They moved into the burning town, eager to free the spirits from his grasp. See, the, the darts are so bad. The darts are so bad. They did no damage to either the Mongols. Why would you use them then? Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. But it's even worse than I thought. It's actually kind of weird how it like does nothing to them. The ghosts sensed overwhelming suffering from a nearby building cloaked in fog. So like now shooting this guy? Maybe I have to... See? Like, he didn't even react. Oh, I could have... I'm barely there with the damage. Like, almost there with the damage. Oh shit, they are together with the ghosts here? Oh my god, he fucked me up. One combo. Man, my shoulders, like, it's been so long since I played on a controller like that. And I'm, like, my posture is really good actually, so... When I play on my PC or something, or just walk around, I almost, always, like, always um, sit or walk, walk straight with a controller. I remember playing this game every single day for like 10 hours daily when when it came out. I, I, I was struggling with my shoulders hurting. Now it's been like almost 3 hours and it's already bad. The because I wasn't stretching at all. That's the, that's the issue. Forces. They moved into the burning town, eager to free the spirits from his grasp. But we're gonna keep playing for a little more. Like I said, tomorrow... Oh, yikes. Tomorrow, new Amnesia. But we're, I think, I'm gonna beat the Amnesia. It's probably not gonna be a long game. Horror games are usually not long. And I think we're gonna go back to this game. Like, it kind of fits the Halloween theme too, because of the demons and stuff. But I'm really enjoying it right now, so maybe I'm gonna buy PS Plus and play with people online. The problem is if I want to play like the waves with four players, stuff like that, there is matchmaking. But I already know it's gonna be bad. Like there's just gonna be people that don't know what they are doing and... Okay, so when when you use it, you can like... Exec uh, execute them, but it's still way worse than the bow. But yeah, like, when you are playing with friends, you are having, like, a lot of fun. When you are playing with people that know what they are doing, at least you are doing the, the job, right? But the playing with randoms, that's gonna be a bad at the game, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. From a nearby building cloaked in fog. I like that they, like, change, uh, swap places. Wow, really? It... Interesting. I guess the weakening dart, dart maybe is good for like hard enemies. But the poison dart seems really bad. I think it's more like, it's not even like a stealth weapon anymore. They made it so it's like, in the middle of combat I think you use the dart on someone. Damn it. I can't even see him. Okay, good. Thank God for that thunder, or lightning strike, I should say. The ghosts are... The ghosts are the... Hardest enemies right now, for sure. Just not being able to track where they are and stuff. Really? You're not just... 
hug the ladder multiple times. Fuck. Nice. Yeah, it's all about parrying. I'm j I just forgot how to play this game. Now I'm get kinda getting used to it again. So that's good. Pain frozen on their faces. Is there anything upstairs? No. Okay, we have a ghost in a ghost in there. Um, <laughs> don't climb that. Wow, he is actually looking down, or is he? No, he's no, he is looking at me. I could have used the dart. Yeah, that passive heal helps a lot too. I think. Fog around the large building slowly dissipated. Uh, I guess we are going that way, yeah. Uh, pro probably where the wind is showing. See, like, it's so much harder that I don't have a bow. It's so much harder without the bow. The. Yeah. So far, everything felt very balanced, but the. The darts are so bad, it's actually useless. From the homes on the hill, screams pierced the air. Oh, they're fighting each other. Oh. Get rid of some of them. Sh shit, they're all fighting one Mongol. I guess I can just go in. The ghosts were angered by the slaughter of the village. Okay. The spirits Oof. vanquished. The fog faded away. Interesting. You just run inside. Uh, keep going then. Yeah, all the visuals, all the sounds in the game. This game was like really, really good. I think I gave it a 9, but like a strong 9. Only because the, the game had some issues. And it still kinda... They still kinda didn't fix the issues I, I was really getting annoyed by. Chanting wafted from the nearby docks. The auto lock on. Deep in the fog. The auto lock on being very bad. And the. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised there is no grappling spots around those maps. It's been a while since I got one. Okay, they're fighting each other there. The uh, auto lock on is bad, and the camera gets like really confusing sometimes too. Those problems from the single player are still in the game here. Okay. I think I got to assassinate him. I thought he was looking at me. <laughs> I was literally walking into him. Yes, he's too busy digging his own grave. The remaining villagers, mangled and broken, were left to rot in a net like fish. The fog around the docks floated slowly down the river. Conquer all the enemies. Oh, why am I not surprised we have to go back and kill them? 
I mean, it makes sense, but at the same time, it's kind of... Especially with those ghosts. Okay. Oh, like, look. Th yeah, the, the darts are so not finished. Like, they completely forgot to... Balance them or something. Now it did, like, three-fourths of his HP. He didn't react at all. It's so weird. I'm just going back to the bow. I just want them to give me a higher eye level bow though. After this mission, it would be really nice if they did. Oh, this guy's just playing his drum. They're forcing me to kill him. Okay, apparently like... See, like... The assassination is another thing that's very hit or miss. Sometimes it's super janky. They give me an option to drop down on him and assassinate, then it disappears. And I just like start slashing the air with the same button. Um, we have a Mongol there. See, but now, again... Because they're forcing me to finish the entire camp. We're gonna have ghosts. I can't see. Look at this. The poison did nothing. And now if he reacted after... The poison went down. Yeah, the bow is like a million times better. It's not even a, an argument here. Okay, we had a ton of ghosts here. I do have my ult too. Is there like three ghosts here? <laughs> okay, there's fire that I walked into. I think those ghosts left after I did the objective. They might be just forcing me to kill the Mongols, but... Maybe not. Or maybe only the ghosts in that other place left. I think so. I think there's gonna be a ghost because I would be able to see him. Oh, that's a Mongol. Weird, so the ghost disappeared but the Mongol stayed. So they literally forced me to go back all this way. Yeah, only the Mongol stayed. <laughs> Are we done? Yep. Sukbatter's voice boomed throughout the village. Oh? Come, ghosts. Uh oh. I mean, before a boss fight last time, we got a checkpoint, so. Once you are dead, I will display your bodies as a warning to others that even the ghosts are helpless before Sukbatter. Hairy footfalls approached. Oh god. The ghosts readied themselves for battle. Our braid. I should be. Oh god, what is this? I should be ulting first. I shouldn't even hit this guy at all, but. <laughs> This ult is gonna carry me through this, yep. Oh! Yikes. Oh. Yo, those big boys have some crazy combos. Okay, just walk into my, my trap. Nice. Easy. dreadful warriors had covered his escape. The ghosts moved on from the decimated village. Yeah, the power-ups, no I'm telling you. Or would suffer the same fate if Sukubater wasn't found and defeated. I never see, like, maybe I should go to main menu and see if there's challenges or something. Yeah, I play on higher difficulty to attempt bonus objectives, yeah, so I don't have them at all in this one. Damn it, we didn't get a single bow. We got another dart thing. The blowgun. That sucks. <laughs>